What if I told you that some of the greatest events in history were shaped not by kings or generals, but by shadowy figures lurking in the background? Welcome to the enigmatic world of espionage, where nothing is as it seems, and where the ripple effects of stealthy actions reverberate through the corridors of power and across the pages of history. Espionage, also known as spying, is the age-old practice of obtaining secret or sensitive information without the permission of the holder of the information. This clandestine world of covert operations, intelligence gathering, and secret agents has been a silent influencer of world events, often shaping the course of nations and changing the tide of war. From the ancient times of Sun Tzu who famously said, Know the enemy and know yourself, in a hundred battles you will never be in peril. To the digital age where cyber espionage has become an invisible battlefield, the art of spying has evolved tremendously. Yet, its core remains the same. To gain an advantage over an adversary. The intrigue of espionage lies not only in its secretive nature but also in its profound influence on world events. The stakes are high. A successful intelligence operation can avert wars, save lives and even alter the course of history. On the other hand, a failed mission can lead to international incidents, loss of life and even the collapse of governments. It's a world where the line between right and wrong is often blurred, where loyalty is tested, and where the unexpected becomes the norm. It's a world of shadows and subterfuge, of secrets and silence. It's a world that exists beneath the surface of our everyday lives, unseen but ever-present. But what makes espionage so captivating is not just its secrecy or its influence. It's the people, the spies themselves, who dare to delve into this dangerous and thrilling world, risking everything for their cause. It's their stories, their exploits, and their sacrifices that make the world of espionage so endlessly fascinating. So, tighten your seatbelts as we delve into the hidden world of spies and secret missions. Espionage is not a modern invention. It dates back to ancient times. Indeed, the crafty art of spying has roots that reach deep into the annals of history all the way back to the earliest civilizations. Let's journey back to the sun-baked lands of ancient Egypt. Here, the pharaohs, in their towering palaces, used spies to keep a watchful eye on their vast kingdoms. Espionage was a key tool in maintaining control over their subjects and ensuring the stability of the realm. They even employed covert agents to infiltrate enemy territories and gather intelligence, an essential piece of their military strategy. Now let's traverse the Mediterranean Sea and step foot on the soil of ancient Greece. The Greeks took espionage to a new level. They were pioneers in cryptography, using intricate codes to protect their secrets. Spies were pivotal in their warfare strategy, especially during the legendary Trojan War. The famous tale of the Trojan horse, whether fact or myth, is one of the earliest and most iconic examples of a successful espionage operation. Our journey through time continues to the grandeur of ancient Rome. The Romans, known for their military might and political prowess, understood the value of good intelligence. They established an organized network of spies, known as the Frumentari. These agents played crucial roles in Rome's conquests, providing the empire with the necessary information to outmaneuver its enemies. In all these civilizations, espionage wasn't just limited to warfare. It was also a vital tool in the ruthless game of politics. Spies were used to keep tabs on potential rivals to sniff out plots and conspiracies and to manipulate public opinion. So, it's clear that spying isn't a product of the modern world. It's an age-old practice, a shadowy craft that has been honed and perfected over millennia. From the pharaohs to the Roman emperors, espionage has been a pivotal part of statecraft. As we move into the medieval and renaissance periods, the art of espionage takes on a new form. Stepping out of the ancient era, the medieval and renaissance periods saw a new wave of spycraft, Espionage was no longer just about collecting information, but also about influencing outcomes. Diplomats, courtiers, and even clergymen found themselves amidst the shadowy world of espionage, playing the Game of Thrones in real life. The medieval period was an era of knights and castles, but beneath the chivalry and honor, a different kind of warfare was being waged. Spies were used extensively in the countless wars and skirmishes that dotted the landscape of Europe. They infiltrated enemy lines, intercepted communications, and spread misinformation, shaping the outcomes of battles even before they began. One such notable spy was the Italian Francesco Vecellio, a seemingly humble painter who used his art as a cover, 
Vecellio gathered valuable information for the Venetian Republic, blending in with the high society and listening to their secrets. His contributions were instrumental in maintaining the dominance of Venice during the turbulent times. As we transition into the Renaissance, espionage became even more sophisticated. The invention of the printing press revolutionized communication, and with it, the means of spreading propaganda and misinformation. Spies now had a new tool at their disposal, the written word. One of the most famous spies of this era was Sir Francis Walsingham, often referred to as Elizabeth Spymaster. Walsingham established an intricate network of spies across Europe, protecting Queen Elizabeth I and the realm from numerous plots and conspiracies. His methods, including the use of coded messages and double agents, set the standard for the spycraft that we see today. In these periods, espionage was a vital tool for survival. Kingdoms rose and fell based on the information they had and how they used it. It was a time when the pen was indeed mightier than the sword, and secrets were as valuable as gold. The cloak and dagger world was becoming more sophisticated, setting the stage for the modern era. The two world wars were a golden age for espionage, as nations vied for every scrap of advantage. The first half of the 20th century bore witness to two cataclysmic global conflicts. These wars were not just fought on the battlefield but also in the shadows. Espionage, the art of obtaining secret or confidential information without the permission of the holder of the information, played a pivotal role in shaping the outcomes of these wars. In the thick of the First World War, a woman named Mata Hari, a Dutch exotic dancer and courtesan, was accused of being a double agent for Germany. Her allure and charm allowed her to move through high society circles, collecting valuable intelligence. Despite the controversy surrounding her guilt, she was executed by a French firing squad, her name becoming synonymous with the femme fatale spy. Then came the Second World War, where the stakes were even higher. One standout figure was Virginia Hall, an American spy who worked for Britain's Special Operations Executive. Despite having a prosthetic leg, she operated in occupied France, coordinating resistance movements and providing critical intelligence to the Allies. Her courage and tenacity earned her the nickname The Limping Lady from the Germans who failed to capture her. Let's not forget the Cambridge Spy Ring, a group of five British men recruited as Soviet spies while studying at Cambridge University. They infiltrated the highest levels of British government and intelligence, passing on crucial information to the Soviets during the Second World War and the early stages of the Cold War. Their actions had profound implications, revealing the extent of Soviet espionage operations. These stories, while extraordinary, were not exceptions. Spies on all sides were tirelessly gathering information, trying to tip the balance in favor of their nations. Espionage was no longer an accessory to warfare, it was a necessity, shaping strategies and directly affecting the course of battles. The World Wars may have ended, but the world of espionage was just heating up. The Cold War period was a chess game of intelligence and counterintelligence. As the world split into two ideological camps after World War II, espionage took center stage. It was no longer just about winning battles but about gaining information and leveraging it to steer global events. This period, often referred to as the Golden Age of Espionage, witnessed an intense game of cat and mouse between the Central Intelligence Agency CIA, of the United States and the Komitet Gosudarstvenoi Bezopasnosti KGB, of the Soviet Union. The CIA and KGB, though rivals, were similar in many ways. Both agencies were the invisible hands of their respective governments, influencing global events from behind the scenes. Their operatives were often ordinary people leading double lives, their identities concealed behind a veil of secrecy. But it wasn't just the Americans and Soviets. Espionage during this time was a global affair, with other nations also investing in their intelligence agencies. From Britain's MI6 to Israel's Mossad, these organizations played crucial roles in shaping the world as we know it today. Among the many spy cases that transpired during this period, few are as notorious as the Cambridge Five. This ring of Soviet spies, operating right under the nose of the British intelligence, led to some of the most significant intelligence breaches of the time. They were intellectuals, recruited from the University of Cambridge, who rose to prominent positions within the British establishment, all the while feeding crucial information to the Soviets. However, the world of espionage was not all about successful infiltrations. There were also failures, defections, and double agents. 
each revelation adding another layer to the complex world of spies and their never-ending game of deception. While the Cold War ended, the world of spies didn't disappear, it just changed. The fall of the Berlin Wall and the dissolution of the Soviet Union might have marked the end of the Cold War era, but the game of intelligence and counterintelligence continues, evolving with the times and technology. The golden age of espionage may be behind us, but the world of spies is far from over. In the age of the internet and smartphones, spying has moved into the digital realm. Gone are the days of trench coats and clandestine meetings in shadowy alleyways. Today, espionage is as likely to involve a keyboard and a secure internet connection as it is a concealed camera or a microfilm. The digital age has revolutionized the way we communicate, and with it, the way information is gathered, transferred, and manipulated. In the vast expanse of the digital universe, intelligence agencies have found a playground ripe for espionage. The cloak and dagger of old has been replaced by the cloak and data. Cyber espionage, the practice of hacking into systems to steal secret or classified information, has become a mainstay of modern spying. In this brave new world, the faceless hacker has become the new spy. Armed with a computer and an internet connection, they can infiltrate networks, steal secrets, and disrupt infrastructure, all from the comfort of their own homes. And it's not just the usual suspects. Countries that were once on the periphery of the world of espionage have found in cyber espionage a leveling field, a way to challenge the traditional powerhouses. It's important to mention the role of social media in this new landscape. Platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram have become hotbeds for information gathering. A careless post, a revealing picture, an unguarded comment. These can all be gold mines for those looking to gather intelligence. But despite this shift, the principles of espionage remain the same. It's all about gathering information, staying one step ahead, predicting the moves of your adversary. The players may have changed, the methods may have evolved, but the game remains the same. As we continue to embrace technology, as our lives become increasingly digitized, the world of espionage will continue to adapt. And so, as our world becomes more connected, the shadowy world of espionage adapts, always lurking just out of sight. From ancient times to the digital age, espionage has played a crucial role in shaping our world. This statement is no hyperbole. It's an acknowledgement of the truth that has stood the test of time, and will continue to do so. We journeyed from the enigmatic beginnings of espionage where ancient spies used cunning and guile to change the course of battles and wars. Hieroglyphs and ancient texts stand as testaments to their contributions. We then traveled through the medieval and renaissance eras where the art of espionage was honed and refined, becoming an integral part of statecraft and power games. The two world wars brought a new dimension to the world of espionage. Code-breaking, sabotage, and intelligence gathering became the tools of the trade, shaping the outcome of these global conflicts. And then came the golden age of espionage, the Cold War era, where spies became figures of intrigue and fascination, their exploits filling the pages of novels and the frames of films. But the digital age has perhaps brought the most significant transformation. Espionage is no longer confined to the physical world. The battleground has shifted to cyberspace, with data breaches, cyber attacks, and digital surveillance becoming the new norm. Throughout these transformations, one constant remains, the indomitable spirit of the spy. For it is this spirit that adapts, evolves, and continually overcomes the challenges of changing times. So what does the future hold for the world of espionage? While we can't predict with certainty, we can be sure that it will continue to be a vital part of our world. As technology advances, so will the methods of espionage. New challenges will arise and spies will rise to meet them, ensuring the survival and evolution of this clandestine craft. As we journey into the future, one thing is certain. The world of espionage will continue to evolve, always hidden, always watching.